Please select a landing zone. Heading to Afghanistan. security aren't as hardcore a military outfit compared to the other two PFs in this region. The company sends operators to conflict regions around the world, not just Africa. They have decades of combined experience. They're also based out of South Africa. Their headquarters is in Johannesburg. A lot of their work involves corporate security for South African companies, but a good number of their operators are retired South African military. So don't mistake them for a bunch of security guards. Rogue Coyote operates mainly out of Africa these days. Of the three PFs, they're the smallest. However, they scooped up most of the Rhodesian SAS after the country collapsed four years ago. Picture their entire organization as one big special forces unit. With Rhodesia a British colony, the Rhodesian SAS had its origins in 22 SAS Sea Squadron. They started out as a group known as the Southern Rhodesia Volunteers, but in 51 they were incorporated into 22 SAS as members of the British Commonwealth and deployed to fight guerrillas in the Malayan emergency. Even now, 22 SAS keeps the Sea Squadron designation empty in recognition of their service. In a way, you could say the SAS almost makes up the core of Rogue Coyote. Later on, they were bolstered by other talent, including former Sela Scouts and 32 Battalion. These guys are direct descendants of the best special forces in the world. They won't go down without a fight. Don't get careless. Kunganga Mine. A civil war's been going on in that region for the last 20 years. It's being fought by what are now two ethnic groups, the Buta and the Mbele. Originally, you could barely tell them apart, but the reason for the current armed conflict goes back to World War I. 
After the war, their land was colonized by a European power, and it decided to give local control... That to the crack would make a good foothold. You can use crack climbing to make your way up. Like the foundations for an inevitable civil war. The friction between them remained even after they won independence from Europe. The Bhutto are holding on to power to this day, and the Mbele rebels continue to fight back. The conflict is funded by locally mined gold, rare metals, diamonds. They've used the money from those to arm themselves, buy oil and even hire PFs. The Bhutto administration owns the mining rights to Kunganga mine. But most of the laborers are Mbele, who they've taken prisoner. The product they've gouged out of their land is bought up by cheap Western corporations. And the civil war is fueled by the profits. Begin cover fire. That's how it goes. One country's people is split apart by another country. Then the two groups tear up their own land for money in order to fight each other. Now this civil war started by a foreign power is the norm. And it's sucking up all the country's resources. PFs are just the same. They follow the money, taking war with them wherever they go. That goes for us too. It's an endless river of bloody retaliation, and we're standing downstream. Should we make a stand and staunch the flow? Or wade in amongst the corpses and make a bigger splash than the rest? We'll follow your lead, boss. those invalids you saw in that devil's house. Poor bastards. All strapped down to the beds, with those lumps on their chest. The medical staff tell me they were probably a type of cyst. Cysts can get that big. In some cases, yes. But supposing they're a kind of atheroma forming on the surface of the skin, the size is just too big, and the appearance is all wrong. In the end, the medical team were at a loss. Those lumps were like nothing they'd ever seen. The fluid you said you got on your prosthesis when you touched one was burned off in the fighting, and the factory burned down too. None of the tests we did once you were back at the base revealed a pathogen that could have caused them. Meaning we don't have a single sample to work with. Everything went up in flames. What worries the medical team most is whether it's contagious. Whether there's a chance we could end up like that. And? Mother Base's sanitation control has always been strict. After all, war is great at transporting diseases. For the time being, at least. There's no sign of contagion or any symptoms that could be related. One more thing. About the surgery that has been That's the target. In the devil's house. Yeah. You said that their throats were cut open. With an acoustic tube pushed inside? Right. The tubes were hooked up to tape recorders, playing some kind of audio. Well, we picked up some of that audio through your radio transmissions and recorded it here. The intel team has been working on analyzing the communications lock. What have they found? There's nothing tying the contents together. We've got a report on three deaths in a car accident on the auto route near Marseille. Protests outside the Libyan embassy in London. A press conference with the former prime minister of Sweden. A four-month-old weather forecast for Balikpapan. And then commercials for appliances, cough syrup and TV dinners. Assuming they're not all staged, they come off as recordings of your average public broadcasts. Public broadcasts? Just radio and TV signals? Yes. And from all over the world. We're looking into whether they're genuine or not, just to be sure. What else? A speech that sounds like it was recorded out on the street, and people chatting about how this year's tomato crop did. 
And there's nothing they have in common? We're part way through the crypt analysis. That includes checking all audio ranges and running it backward and at different speeds. Then there's vocabulary breakdown for political suggestions. Ideological common point. Out of ammo? And I don't Let the support unit help out if you need to restock. Transmit a request from your iDroid and I'll send supplies right away. Just like you reported, we've detected virtually every major language there is. French, German, Italian, Spanish, including South American accents. Then there's Russian, Hindi, Arabic, Portuguese, Mandarin, Cantonese, Japanese. They're nothing if not thorough. <laughs> well, I don't know if we've got them all covered. Ignoring the ones that have gone extinct, supposedly over 5,000 languages exist today. Besides, English is one of the ones we picked up. Really? English. I know. Only 5% of the world's population is a native English speaker. But when you factor in those who've acquired it as a second language, nearly one-third of the people speak it. The world's dominant lingua franca. You gotta figure they had it somewhere among all the languages in that place. No English. Bear in mind we didn't hear everything that was played in that room. We couldn't isolate the more distant sounds due to static and the... Well, the program could have been set to change every day. In a nutshell, for reasons unknown, people in that room with a common medical condition were made to listen to recordings and languages from around the world. It's not clear how the growths on their chests fit into it. It could have been treatment for them, or maybe an experiment of some kind. I'm guessing one person knows. Yeah, Skullface. He was there. The only thing we can say for sure is that he's involved. Development project has been added. Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Central Africa. the White Mamba, the child soldier's commander, and bring him back to Mother Base. First off, head for Bwala Yamasa. Buddy has infiltrated our the map has been updated.
That's African peach. The shape of its petals gives it the nickname the pincushion. It's used in local traditional medicine as a pain reliever and tranquilizer. The map has been updated. Please select a supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Please select a landing zone. Your target, the White Mamba, showed up in this village out of the blue and took command of the child soldiers. The surrounding villages have been victims of their raids and brutality ever since. But if you extract their commander, those kids will have no choice but to stand down. Should wrap up the whole situation. They're still kids. You can't kill any one of them, including the commander. If things get rough, neutralize them by knocking them out or by tranquilizing them. Take aim. Fire! Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated.
there. That's the target. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Beyond there is an outside the mission area. Caution, you are about to leave the mission area. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Support helicopter requested. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. Weather will fall shortly. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. Support helicopter has arrived.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Soldier, you got that. Anyone here can use a knife or a gun. What you're gonna learn is how to use your head. Let's move. Get that under your belt. Then you're free to leave. Thank you. 